Big Ed here. Today we are bringing you the Miami Classic 2 shoulder holster. Uh, as you can see it's wrapped around my shoulders and it comes to a V in the back right there. Uh, I have it a little loose right now. I should tighten it up a little bit more but I've kind of, I, I like it, um, you know, like this and I, I have trouble when it's up too high getting the magazines out as quick. But you can see there's our magazine pouch right there pull out magazines and the, the other reason it carries better when they're loaded when they're empty you don't have the weight in here and it kind of it slides to the gun side when you don't have the weight of the ammunition on the other side so and they're both pretty straightforward the and it's all it's all leather construction the pieces right here you know you have all metal screws right there to uh, to tighten and to loosen it and you have all this different adjustment right here to tighten it up originally I started on the bottom holes and I brought it up and I've carried this for a few days now and you know here's here's the part right here for the firearm you know it's got two connections goes around your arm um it's very it's nice and the reason i went for a shoulder holster and also i have the review on this coming this is the sig p226 in the navy edition the mk25 and we're, we're going to do a review on this and this would this will this will be following shortly uh but i have to get a filmer for the camera to do this review but, you know, this is a full-size auto. This is a heavy gun. This gun, I believe, is 32 ounces, if I can remember correctly. That's unloaded. So, for all these heavy autos I have and for the big revolvers, I like shoulder holsters. Um, you know, it's easier to carry the weight on your shoulders than on your belt because it just pulls on your belt all day long. Unless you have a really good belt. And then, it gets and then it's heavy anyway. Um, I also went for the vertical model for a couple reasons. One is the gun's pointed down so you're never sweeping anybody so if you got a loaded gun in there and it's pointed and it's like this that's like the one don johnson used to have in, a, in the regular miami classic also the two is like that too the you're sweeping somebody and it ranges they won't let you wear them and i can understand why and i agree with them so i got the vertical also if you look at my side side profile i'm more concealed with the vertical holster than if the firearm was like that it's going to protrude more you know it's on a shorter it's going to give up, you know, less space. The one thing you will give up is quick access to this. I don't think you're going to get that firearm quick, firearm out quickly with this thing. So if you're in a, you know, granted, I believe it's better to have a firearm than not to have one. But if you're in a situation where you think you actually have to use that firearm, this might not be the greatest system for you if you need it quick. Um, you know, unless you practice with it. You practice with it, I'm sure you can make it quick enough. But I like the distribution of the weight. And the other two things is, you know, you have two magazines in here. So you can leave your system loaded up. And here in New York, these magazines only have 10 rounds in them. So this system is capable of holding 30, 30 rounds. But in standard configuration, you know, with, with this system right here, 15 rounds of mag for the PP, for the P226, you have 45 rounds. And basically, you just take it on and off and hang it up on your door, put it in your safe, and just take the thing out of it. It's one unit. I like that about it, too. The other thing you can do about this too is you can, and I will be buying one of these leather, just a gun holster part for my Smith & Wesson 686 6 inch barrel because I have a shoulder holster for that, but it's got some elastic and some leather and the elastic isn't my favorite. But I'm also going to buy that for the 686 so you can swap it and carry that. And you can also get one of these that will hold speed clips, you know, so I can get the seven round speed clips and, and run those out of here. But I love this thing. I think it's well made. Um, it also has this little strap for a, a belt too, which is cool. You know, so you can hook it onto your belt and it'll make it a little more steady. I have to figure out something that would help this is right now the weight of the gun keeps it down, but when you want to draw it, it you know, it's, it's tough to draw out of here and you really need to grab it to get, to get the gun out. But I'm a big fan of it. Um, and some other people I spoke to said that you can get these things custom made basically for the same price. And I got this on eBay. It was about $155 and uh, sold some other holsters I didn't like and got this good one. And uh, you can get a custom one for about the same price, you know, that might be thicker leather, you know, that might fit a little bit better. But I'm really happy with this. And I'm a big guy. I'm 6'4", 270 pounds. And, you know, I lift some weight, so I have some shoulder mess. But this also, you can see how I have it choked up there. This will fit somebody that's larger than me. Uh, but you know, and I might, you might wear it up a little higher than I do. I like it a little looser, um, just because I'm a big guy. Um, uh, you know, it helps me get it on and off. I'm not the most flexible person. So it takes a little time for me to get it on and off. So I leave it a little looser, you know, and you're supposed to ride them a little tighter and higher, but you know, teach their own, whatever works for you. 
but uh, very cool. Um, it's beautiful. It's definitely high quality. The stitching is excellent. The leather's beautiful, but definitely a very cool piece right here. Galco Miami Classic Two. Um, you can also get the original. Uh, the, the original Miami Classic runs the magazines like that, so you just grab them and you pull them straight out. Um, and then these are vertical ones. Um, and then, you know, and also the pistol will be canted the other way too. So, but you can get these in different configurations. But they also make the light, which is not leather, it's suede, and it's, it'll be a thinner suede. And I looked at that too, and that has a single magazine pouch for the 226, but they also make that for the, the 6 hour P226. And, you know, you, know, you can get these. Uh, for every probably every just about every pit popular pistol out there, all Glocks, Colts, 1911s. You know, I also might get a, the leather version of this for the 1911 because that's a heavy gun, um, and that carries nicely my waist. I like the thinness of it, but it would be nice if the weight was on my shoulders too. So we're gonna do an upgrade. But thanks for watching, folks. Appreciate it. Subscribe if you haven't. Give me a thumbs up. But thanks, folks.